I'm Andrew Cotto from Flavors of New York and Appetito Magazine, and we are at Cremini's Appetivo and Kitchen, an Italian bistro in Carroll Gardens. Let's check it out. Ciao, Anna. Ciao. 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 Come stai? How are you? Good. How are you? Ciao, Nico. Ciao, Nico. Come stai? So, take a seat. Thank you. So we're here with Elena and Ricardo of Cremini's Apertivo and Kitchen, and we're thrilled to be sitting at this beautiful big white table you have here in, in your gorgeous natural light. Yes. Yes. It's so an amazing great. day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, know, I met you guys many, many years ago, right? and w when you first opened, it's a really interesting story. So we'll l let us know, you know, what it was like when you opened here at a particular time in history. Oh yes, uh, we started this adventure um, four years and a half ago and uh, with um, a simple idea. We want to bring some special food in New York City for the first time and uh, we are focusing uh, Le Marche cuisine. Le Marche is a region just uh, in the center of Italy, very close to Rome, Florence, but uh, east side. I'm guessing most people in our audience aren't familiar with, with either Le Marche as a region. So we're central Italy on the Adriatic coast. Right? Yeah. It's mountainous, it has a beautiful coastline, it reminds me very much of California, you know, with these really, California. yeah, with, with, with the vineyards and the sea yeah. um, and, the, and, the, and the hills. It's a gorgeous region, one of the places I absolutely recommend people go to visit when they're looking to get off that beaten path of, of you know, Venice, Florence, Rome. But for our purposes here, um, we're not here for uh, Le Marque tourism, we're here for Le Marque food. Oh, yes. So <laughs> what are the signature dishes of the region of Le Marque? Uh, the best and the most important uh, recipe are the Ascolana olives. Uh, uh, olives uh, stuffed with uh, meat, uh, cheeses, uh, vegetarians, uh, and this kind of this type of uh, uh, olives uh, um, came from Ascoli, Ascoli Piceno, the main city in Le Marche, one of the main city of Le Marche, and uh, yes, olives stuffed with meat or uh, something else and fried outside. Another recipe very important are pasta le marche, the same concept of uh, uh, arancini, rice, so uh, these kind of balls are made with uh, fettuccine pasta, half cooked, uh, with bechamel and mozzarella inside, try to make a bowl and outside are fried and covered with a meat ragu. The menu is also rife with other things that aren't necessarily traditionally from Masculine um, Pacino or Le Marche at large. Um, and I want to sort of run, have you guys run us through them, particularly on the brunch burger where I see some of my favorites. <laughs> the brunch menu? Okay, but the brunch menu is um, it's uh, the real experience uh, um, of Le Marche. I mean, uh, we offer this traditional fritto misto that, uh, 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 like Elena mentioned, it, uh, we have uh, this kind of stuffed olives and creminis and tempura zucchini and uh, a cream of beetroot. So this experience is uh, the real experience of Le Marche region and uh, we offer only Saturday and Sunday for our brunch because usually the perception of uh, creminis is the serve. So in, uh, in the regular menu our creminis is uh, the, the serve area. We have also the burger. The burger is uh, so good and we invented this burger, yes, here in New York City and because it's made with three kinds of meats and it's like uh, Ascolana olives and uh, bacon and caramelized onions and a special bun from Balthazar Bakery. It's so good. It is really good. The burger is one of my favorites. And it's funny, I find that a lot of Italian places have like a burger on the side of their menu. They're just, like, they're some of the best burgers in the city. You know? <laughs> yes, I love, yes. I love it, you know. Uh, okay, so we're gonna pivot towards the, 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 there's a pretty great distinction you guys have for your sandwiches, right? So there's, there's a particular sandwich um, that's, yeah. that's indigenous to Le Marche. It's called the Crescia. 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 Yes, Crescia. It's, uh, originally this sandwich is from Urbino. Urbino is a beautiful town in Le Marche and offered this kind of sandwiches around and uh, uh, levitation for only three hours and it's a um, few layers, it's uh, crunchy outside and we fill uh, with uh, cured meat and cheeses or um, uh, salmon, uh, raw salmon or tuna and it's incredible. And we have also a mansion in uh, Eater, New York by Robert Sistema. Uh -huh. And uh, yes, when we opened in October 2019, just right before the COVID, it was incredible. But yes, and uh, this is another food that we bring in New York for the first time. So you're ranked by Eater as having one of the best sandwiches in New York? 
Yes, was the uh, best um, yes. sandwich shop in Europe. In Europe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Eleanor, you know, one thing that we haven't talked about yet, which is my absolute favorite dish here, and in all due respect to Le Marque, but you make a really amazing um, cacio pepe. Our fresh pasta, yeah. we make our fresh pasta here. And uh, yes, bucatini cacio e pepe, very, very creamy and savory. Very, be it's a beautiful pasta. And you, you, me, it's the best. Uh, yeah. You gild the lily with that when I add a little truffle. Yeah, so, so. because I use a particular cacciotta with truffle inside. So I melt uh, everything together and the truffle smell. The culture of the Maki that you guys um, advocate for here is is um, cocktail culture. Right? You are sort of the mixologist yes. of the house. So. Yes. So Eleanor runs the back of the house, and you run the front of the house. Yeah. It should be the other way around, based on looks, but I can't. We can't yes. work for that. But um, you're you're an aperitivo expert, right? You make yes. different kinds. What's a signature cocktail of Cremini? And then a blend bar in general. Oh yes, we have um, uh, Americano spritz. I call Americano because I use a Cappelletti. Cappelletti is uh, a nice compromise between Aperol and um, Campari. It's all natural and uh, natural flavor and uh, colors. It's, this is very important. Less sugar. It's a little bit bitter and one third and two third of prosecco. So we call Americano spritz because basically it's a spritz. And uh, yes, it's a one of our best sellers is very appreciated and it's so refreshing. But you know, we have a, an amazing wines here, the wine list is very focused on the market. Yeah. Yeah. What are the signature wines of the market? Start with the reds. Uh, we have um, a few original grapes in the market. We have a for white, we have a pecorino, and verdicchio, it's two mains. And uh, for red, uh, rosso piceno and rosso conero. And especially Rosso Piceno is at the same area of production of the olives. Mm -hmm. So Ascolano olives and Rosso Piceno is the same area. So it's a perfect match when you eat uh, Ascolano olives. And it's just basically it's a Sangiovese 70% and 30% of Montepulciano. So it's perfect, it's balanced. And of course there's dishes that are sort of indigenous for, for dessert from Le Marche. And I think the dessert menu here is great. You know, I'm not a, even a, usually a dessert eater, but I always make a point of having something on the menu, I know you can tell me what it is, that my favorite every time is the... Your favorite is the salame di cioccolato. <laughs> Just having the word salami with the chocolate makes me want it more, you know, I'm yeah. such a savory guy, even though there is no salami in it. Uh, oh. This salami, it seems a real salami, cured meat, but it's not. It makes with a dark chocolate, uh, uh, rum, and uh, cookies, uh, walnuts, and pistachio inside. So when you cut in slices, real salami. This is very very important regional dessert and uh, uh, creminis, don't forget the creminis, our custard cream sweets uh, cut in cubes and fried outside so the best uh, is the lemon one but we have also pistachios, chocolate, coffee. Do you find most people who come in here are, are, are surprised by creminis? What they are in, in your vernacular and, and you know, pleasantly so? Because creminis is a kind of mushroom here, so sometimes it's oh creminis is mushroom, no, it's a cream. Yeah, uh, that's a special cream. conversation you have every day. Right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what, what kind of mushrooms do you have? Yeah. <laughs> no. um, but you do have mushrooms on the menu, and the menu is really sort of runs the, 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 the Italian peninsula with regard to dishes from Matacciana, you know, from Rome. Yes. Um, you have all these different regional dishes, with the emphasis being on Le Marche, which is which is great because it, it's, it's a really distinct cuisine. It's light and it's hearty too at the same time. And uh, you know, I've been here so many times that I feel like I can advocate for you, you know, know, market cuisine. Yes, we call uh, in Italy Marche is uh, Italy in one region because we have all kind of landscape. So we have the seaside, hill, sweet hills, and mountains. So the, the cuisine is so different uh, through the sea and in the mountains. So we have um, a nice um, recipe like uh, pasta de mac, you know? Pasta de mac. The first time I met you guys was your opening party here. It was four years ago. You were just launching as a couple from Italy, opening a restaurant from the Cuisino de Marche. And we were all here very excited, um, the journalists and the media that were here. And then people started talking about a pandemic, and like, I think two weeks later, you guys are closed now. 
So how were you able to survive as a brand new company, brand new restaurant, you know, a couple, that's all you have is you two as a staff, yeah. right? in a strange country? How did you make it work? Yes, it was a um, rough, rough period, I mean, uh, but uh, we remain open because uh, we are young and uh, we remain open and always open, but um, every restaurant closes, so um, our exposure in a delivery company was uh, uh, so good and uh, people ask for food, only for food that period was very rough, not a real restaurant experience. And after when we reopen for outdoor seating and uh, people coming back, so oh, thank you so much, you saved my life. And uh, I was very, very happy and uh, yeah, it was incredible. And uh, this relation started with a bad experience, but now it's uh, so good. It's, uh, uh, our clients became our friends and uh, this community is, is incredible. They support us every time. for the hospital for Presbyterian hospital so yes it was a, it was a beautiful period yeah I mean, you guys just jumped right into it yeah. uh, it was mainly you, were, you put the outdoor space up front you did something in the back right you were changing the menus you brought in you know provisions to sell it was, yes. it was really a great um, you know, a model to watch in, in, in uh, flexibility from a couple of them the fact that you just came here from from Italy and started this business you know, the, the, the dawn of the pandemic and that you survived and you're still thriving is really a testimony to how good the food is but also how good the hospitality here is it's a, it's a neighborhood place for sure and I know if you ever walks by they wave in the windows my only last question is like, are you guys still married? Uh, uh, I you don't know. <laughs> Next yeah. question. Sure. You know, yes. this work is so so complicated, especially in um, in the kitchen in the rush hour. So you can imagine me and uh, when I came in in the kitchen and I ask for some yes some plates. I say okay, shut up and go away. Yeah. <laughs> Scream. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gotta be challenging. Provolone yeah. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Flying provolone, chocolate salami is just throwing yeah. around. Knife yeah. is. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, this whole entree. It's, it's yeah. not easy when uh, your wife is uh, uh, the chef, uh, is uh, your colleague, uh, is uh, your friend, and uh, wow. But uh, yes, after five years of our marriage, okay, we are still here. We still, we are a big team. Yeah. And you're happy here in America? Oh yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Especially um, this neighbor, we fall in love with uh, this neighbor the first time when we came here for to see the, the, the space. And uh, because I remember um, on the sidewalk, uh, people say, oh, good morning. Also if you are a stranger. And uh, it's so incredible. And uh, yes, we choose this place and we remain here and also during the pandemic, and uh, we want to remain here for a lot of years. Yeah. Thank you, Elena. Thank you, Ricardo, for having us at Cremini's Aperitivo and Kitchen today. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and see your beautiful space. Um, we want to thank you for all your time and for what you do for this community um, and for your friendship. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so you. much, Andrew. Grazie. I'm Andrew Cotto for Flavors of New York. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. <laughs>